Hey guys, it's Falcon from Imperial Recon Team, and today we're going to be showing you what you should be wearing in your loadout if you want to be a designated marksman. Hey guys, if you're wondering why Falcon introduced this video, it's because I was in the can. But this is Rebel from Imperial Recon Team, and today we're going to be showing you how to do a DMR kit. Now, I highly recommend a pair of light combat boots. This makes running extremely easy, and they still get the job done. Next, if you're going to be effective, I recommend a belt kit. This is because it allows you to lay on the ground and it's super lightweight. As you can see, I have four mags, a pistol, and a belt pouch. Now, my rifle, it's got a good scope, a bipod, and a foregrip. You want all of these to be an effective rifleman. This is my face protection, and I use this because it allows me to shoulder, to shoulder the rifle more effectively. And the boonie, well, the boonie makes you look cool. Now, if you're in this sport, you're generally going to want a pair of gloves. These protect your fingers from getting shot, and we all know that just ain't fun. And a sling, you're going to want a sling because this allows you to just let go of your rifle and go for your sidearm if needed. The last thing you're going to need is a good camo. A good camo will allow you to blend in with your environment so that you don't get spotted before you spot them. Alright, now, obviously your loadout isn't the only thing you want, because, I mean, no matter what cool belt you have on, if your gun can't shoot straight, then you're not going to be a good DMR. So upgrades is what counts 99% of the time here. Now, I'm going to be doing a tech series on how to upgrade these and more into specifics than what I'm going to be doing now. But right now, it's just the basics. Now, starting from the back, you're going to need a good battery in the stock. And by good battery, I mean not the one that came with your gun. You need to go to the store, buy a nice battery, get a nice charger with it too. That way, your battery will actually last you. Now, moving on over here, you're going to want a good motor. You need an aftermarket one mainly, but sometimes the ones that will come with it will be sufficient. But the reason for this is... The better the motor and the better the gear set and the better the piston, the more snappy your trigger response is going to be. And by that, I mean you will be able to take follow-up shots a lot quicker. This is good because if you miss your first shot and it takes too long for you to fire your second one, then the guy's going to be gone and he's still going to live and kill more of your teammates. So moving on from here up into the gearbox, as I said earlier, you need a good gear set. And you can choose the ratio on those gears you got a little bit of leeway there. I'll go into more specifics on that in the actual tech video for DMR. Right now it's just the basics. But just get a nice gear set. SHS makes some good ones. They also make nice pistons, which you're going to need if you're going to raise the FPS, which is something you need to do with the DMR. Because you have a higher FPS limit out of field usually if you're a DMR, so usually you want to take advantage of that so you can push the BB out further. Now, no. I am not saying that FPS makes your gun more accurate or shoots further, but after everything else is completely upgraded, the only thing that is limiting you is your FPS. So if you've got more energy behind your BB, then yes, your gun will shoot further. That doesn't necessarily mean it will be more accurate, because what that relies on is the hop-up unit. In the hop-up unit, you're going to want to definitely get a nice barrel. I'm not going to go into specifics on whether or not it should be a tight bore or a wide bore, because there's a lot of debate on that right now. I usually just meet in the middle with a 6.05 PDI barrel, that's my favorite and I use that in my sniper. But you can get a Prometheus, there's lots of different barrels you can get, just make sure it's a nice one. Also hop up wise, I'm going to highly recommend you learn how to R hop it and you do it yourself because paying $70 on Airsoft GI for someone to R hop your barrel, that's a waste of money. You can learn to do it and it'll end up better most likely. Our hop is probably the best hop-up system on the market. I know there's some hop-up nub and bucking combinations that work really well together, but I just play it safe and R hop my guns. You can do flat hop or anything if you don't know how to do an R hop, but R hop will be the best if you're using heavyweight BBs. I will have a tutorial video on how to do that up soon. Obviously, with the higher spring, you're going to want to use a higher weight BB. Check out our What Weight BB You Should Use video for more information on that. This has been Rebel from Imperial Recon Team, and I'll catch you on the field.